Now, James Braid is known as the father of modern hypnosis. And during James Braid's time, fixation inductions were very popular. And here's the theory behind it. You hold an object up so the person has to strain their eyes to look at it. This fatigues their eyes. Eventually, their eyes close, they relax, and maybe they go into hypnosis. Okay, so just what we're gonna do is I want you just to, as I said, watch the watch, okay? Just keep your head right there, but you'll be looking up at the watch, okay? Hi, see that red subscribe button below? Please click on it. I'll just swing it. And as you watch this, as your eyes follow the watch, after a while, you may begin to get a little bit tired, but that's okay. They won't close yet. You just watch the watch go back and forth. And as you do, you may notice that the eyes maybe get a little bit more tired. They might even start to sting and burn just a little bit, but they won't close just yet. As you watch the watch, that's right, just follow it with your eyes. And the more you watch it, the more heavy and droopy and drowsy and sleepy your eyes may become. But that's all right, that's right. Just watch it, and even though they may burn a little bit, you just continue, that's right, watching and watch. And you may notice that your eyes begin to blink a little bit more, that's right. And they just do that because they get a little tired of watching the watch go all the way back and forth, that's right. But you continue to watch it, that's right. And you may notice they get even sleepier, even a little bit more tired. And you may notice that they just tend to blink a whole bunch more, but that's all right, that's normal as you watch the watch. Just watch it back and forth, and just think, think of relaxation. That's right, allow your body to relax as you watch this. And the eyes may become a little bit even more tired, and that's okay. Eventually they blink so much that they'll want to close for a little while, and that's fine. Just continue to watch the watch. And if you need to blink, if you need to close them for a little bit, that's all right, too. That's right. Just watching it go back and forth, relaxing yourself more and more. That's right. Feel the eyes maybe watering a little bit more. Maybe stinging a little bit more. Maybe feeling a little bit more tired, a little bit more sleepy, a little bit more droopy and drowsy. As you watch the watch run back and forth, that's right. And the more you blink your eyes, the more they eventually would like to close. That's right. Back and forth. Getting heavier. Getting droopier. Getting drowsier. Getting sleepier. That's right. And each time they blink, they tend to stay closed a little bit longer. And that's fine, because it feels so good just to close them. That's right. You notice they're watering even more. You notice they're feeling even more tired. Even more sleepy as you relax. That's right. swings a little bit faster as it does. Your eyes get a little bit more tired. That's right. And you feel them getting a little bit redder. A little bit more sleepy. That's right. And the blinking tends to happen a little bit more often. That's right. That's right. And eventually they get so heavy. So droopy, so drowsy, so sleepy that they want to close. 
them when they want to close, they can. That's right. That's right. That's right. This feels so good. Just to close down. Just to relax. That's right. And just allow that relaxation to go from your eyelids all the way down your cheeks to your shoulders, all the way down. Breathing in relaxation and exhaling tension and worry. And each gentle exhale takes you deeper and deeper relaxed. Good. Feeling wonderful in every way. That's right. Just continue to breathe in relaxation and exhale tension and worry. And each gentle exhale takes you deeper and deeper relaxed. Good. Now in a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. Reach the number three, your eyes open, and you feel wonderful. One, two, three, eyes open, feeling good. 